Greetings everyone, and great here, another Company Rose 1 replay, spawn on the bottom side as the British or US forces, we have Biggest, Master, Troll. On the north side as the Ansley play, we have SQL. And it had to be this map where this is the one map that caused a lot of the lag spikes. Uh, while this is, uh, before I actually continue, let me just make sure I do something to help alleviate the, uh, What's it called? The resource issues and make sure the OBS stream is not enabled. We do now have the barracks now deployed on the field. Over here, we've got this Panzer Grandier eyeing to capture up a bit more balance. Going for the cutoff point and just use the Kettling to capture the left side, left flank of the map. Two engineers deployed out on the field. And no additional engineers pulled in the field. Riflemen on the field or being pulled on the field. And we go with Scott Panzer Grandier. It's probably gonna be four to five Panzer Grandiers pulled on the field. Munitions point is ours. Munitions point captured. Fuel point now captured as well. <laughs> British uh Panzer Grand no. British. Hands of Grandiers advancing on forward. Engineers are trying to capture this munitions point. Rifleman squad nearby. The rifleman squad may want. Unless he's going to take time to capture that point entirely. Once it's done, he needs to get to this uh, bush right there. He needs to get this rifleman to engage this force. They're advancing pretty far forward, and there was the camouflage ability there, indicating that we do see the. What's it called? Luftwaffe ground forces ability. Hands of Grandiers push away forward or leftwards. Rifleman behind some heavy cover there, very nice. Second squad of rifleman squad, or oh, that's a jeep being deployed on the field. The jeep will help hunt down the camouflage Kettengrads. I think he spotted the disappearing Kettengrad. Kettengrad now pushing me forward, trying to knock these riflemen out of cover, maybe? Nope, looks like not. Jeep rolling this way forward, maybe trying to hunt down that Kettengrad a bit, but we'll hunt, find the Pathman Deers. He could push forward the rifleman squad behind their slight cover to help engage the Panzer Grenadiers as the Jeep draws fire. And the Jeep does draw quite a bit of damage right there. He got pretty lucky with all those hits there, right? It got... He usually doesn't uh, take that much damage that quickly. Rifleman squad now sitting behind some heavy cover there. Another rifleman squad on the build queue. Kettengrad advanced forward, trying to knock around the rifleman. He could pass inside the scares on the back to prevent the Kettengrad from knocking them around. I think he may be trying to do that. He's doing a great job of knocking them around. Jeep now advancing forward, trying to support the rifleman. And a third squad of Pence Grandiers in this location. Let's draw the second rifleman model there. There are five windows there. There's plenty for the four riflemen remaining. Jeep advancing forward, gaining some damage on the Panzer Grandiers. Fresh Rifleman Squad could advance on forward, perhaps get some light cover here. Head and Grad have received a bit of damage there. Jeep making a bit more fire this time. Received a bit of damage. He's just eyeing to get inside the garrison now. Rifleman Squad advancing on forward. This Rifleman Squad still has four models remain. Jeep's going to stay in the back line and does use a suppressive fire there on the Rifleman Squad. It briefly moment recovered from the suppression there, it looked like. Engineers now one last model, so we're just going to just stay there and tank it. Rifleman does get out of the garrison, now got a flanking engineer right here. These Panzer Grenadiers are stayed around for too long, wipes out one of the Panzer Grenadiers. This engineer squad may want to either get out now, it should be safe now. Relatively safe. Rifleman squad, fetch C1, two uh, members remaining, may need to fall back sooner rather than later. Engineers do get inside the garrison. There is five windows on the side, but the Panzer Grenadiers are for the side. In which there's only two windows inside, which the engineers could stay there. And he's going to try to use that rifle squad to capture that point. He is just not receiving fire there. And we're trying to push the point forward, trying to bully with the rifleman squad. Out of the it does get the deep capture there, but does will lose the Kenny Grad in return. Rifle squad, fresh rifle squad down to three members now. Engineers have plenty of health remaining. So both these rifle squads will need to fall back rather soon. Second squad of Panzer Grenadiers advancing on forward, trying to get some damage there onto the Panzer Grenadier, onto the rifleman squad. Uh, fall back. Don't capture, just retreat. As much as attempted to finish that off, it was not going to be worth it losing our rifleman over it. 
And uh, engineers are going to finish off the cap now, though he's going to lose uh, quite a bit of models of that squad as well. Falls back nice and early. Captured. Got two rif riflemen inside this garrison, but only, like I mentioned before, and only two windows on that side. If you look at the minimap, you can see the Panzer players captured quite a bit of the map. Deep advance forward and hit the second fresh Kettengrad. The riflemen does get out of the gas on the far side and going to consume this Kettengrad quite significantly. Jeep is not properly pursuing the Ketan Grad. Could have potentially got the kill there. The Rifle Squad does get inside the garrison once again, and as mentioned beforehand, there are five windows. Plenty for the Rifle Squad. Pentagoners are now eyeing for that heavy cover there. It will get flanked by a secondary Rifle Squad. It does receive suppressive fire there. Two Pentagoners advancing over here, trying to stop that munitions point from being recaptured. It does stop the, that point from being recaptured. Pentagoners back out the side of the Shooting, receive some fire, getting knocked around by the jeep now. Rifle squads gain some great focus fire there. As we got these Panzer Grenadiers not exactly pantsing forward, does get inside the garrison there, but that Panzer Grenadier is far too wounded to stick around. That one rifleman squad needs to start advancing on forward. Camouflage Kettergrad pushing forward. forward. It does wipe out that Panzer Grenadier as well. He's wiped out two Panzer Grenadiers now, hasn't he? And Kettergrad now receives massive fire that gets annihilated. I suppose it's a bit of a tip for tap seeing how quickly the jeep usually took a lot of damage, and that time that Kettergrad would receive a lot of damage like that as well. But in this case, they can't hurt him down, not the Jeep. Yeah, Times of Grandiers inside the garrison. Jeep is not being hit, so it's able to engage at very close to range. And now here come the Flame Engineers trying to clear that garrison. Oh, they did it, just not with their flamethrower, just the presence of the flamethrower. But I suppose it's still doing it with the flamethrower. Flame thrower. Now I do have a supply yard being pulled in field. Triage Center has been pulled in field. I so I don't really like pulling triage centers away from where the natural tree spot. But that's just my opinion. People I would like to have the forward healing in case they need it if they get pushed back. Panzer Jaeger Command now on the build. The He's the now going to need the eye for a motor pool relatively soon, but he needs a bit more fuel. All right, man. Got you the Over the Panzer Lee player, as I mentioned beforehand, is maintaining great fuel control. And the US player has not touched this fuel point now. once. Three Panzer Grenadiers against okay. Ford. Panzer Lee player, how many, uh, Panzer Grenadiers? Okay, we. We knew about the self camouflage uh, kit and grass, but now we've got the off ground forces. 52 on the build queue. As the player has lost quite a bit in his in denial of his opponent of his field control. Three G43 squads. He's probably going to replace any future squads with the off ground forces or with Folsom Jaegers. He may be eyeing for. Eh, probably not eyeing for a verbal one. Could be eyeing for flat idiots eventually. Gain some good hits there onto that Jeep. Armor car now being pulled out on the field. Right, one rifle squad does get suppressed there. He spent a lot of munitions on that ability. His munitions now down to minimum. Second 2-2 now in the build queue. Do we see sticky bomb research? I didn't see any throwaway animation there. And we do have a motor pool. Has been fully built. Needs to get an AT gun. Pretty close to a Greyhound as well. He may want to save just a little bit more fuel for the Greyhound. Both will be useful assets versus the armor car, which has the same quite a bit of damage from the rifle fire. Jeep now repaired if it was not fully repaired. We have two engineers, two riflemen up the veteran C1 as well. Very nice. And now we've got the Panzer Support Command. Is the IM for Panther research? Relatively soon, I guess. More to the twos.
We do have some landmines being put on the field. Very nice. But that position is more meant for uh, infantry rather than for vehicles, though. It may find himself this armored car, depending how much it skirmishes, skirmishes around that garrison. Jeeps are relatively durable versus armored cars as well. He can use this Jeep to engage the armored car. And look at that pens there. Very, very nice. And he, there is a possibility we retreat back on top of that landmine. He does not retreat back on top of that landmine. I just wondered if he was going to try to use this line of sight blocker there. We must defend the enemy's advances on our victory points. Got that garrison not being, well, garrison. No additional research or deployment so far. Got two to two these, two to two, two twos here, and light TF track. Uh, there's the Greyhound. Destroyed into crit, crit connects. Pennsylvania is trying to push this way forward. It's a fully immobilized crit now. Rifle on squads, I don't think they have access to sticky bombs just yet, nor grenade research. It's there, rifle right squad squad advancing forward, trying to hit these forces. Light Cap tries to run pick away against that Greyhound. We'll take a bit of time. Flaming Shares trying to get some first off here. Does get some pin there. Light Cap trying to roll some miss there on the Greyhound. Rifle right squad's advancing forward, trying to use some it's time focusing on the suppressive fire to engage the Pennsylvania at close range. And he is getting some great damage there. Does force back one of those uh, Pennsylvania. It does annihilate the engineers. And I think the uh, immobilized crit has been repaired. Because I don't see the white uh, effect there. Greyhound, I don't think he's moving. Doesn't realize that the immobilized crit has been repaired. Not like that would really matter. Got a second armor car now pulling field. Verbal one's now available. Mountains in light TF track. It probably would have been the better idea to go for a AT gun. Because what's the chance that this uh, two, uh, Greyhound would do any better than the other Greyhound? You may want to eye for some sticky bombs as well. Gets a damage onto these armored cars, just getting some, just picking them with their rifles. 30 out 6 can put some decent sectors. holes and stuff. Here. I do know how the armor skirts research for the Greyhound, fresh Greyhound. The light AT abstract is in this region. <clears throat> and now we do have the M1 AT gun now pulled down the field. Brackman now engaging these Pence Grandiers, getting some damage onto them. Oh, here we do have this flame here now receiving a bit of fire. The flame here does fall back now. Light AT fires a miss there. No AT gun on the field queue. We got multiple bars on plenty of field. And this pen is very, very wounded. Make it wiped out. Got a veteran C2 rifleman now. It's forced to start advancing forward, trying to get some damage on in. I don't believe. Assume you see first sticky bombs research. Damage and crit down the light gap track, but it's rear armor exposed, so the Greyhound should be able to finish off no problem. And he does get taken out there. There is an AT gun on the field. Consider Mortar does largely miss as his opponent does move out of the way. And we got those kinds of going deer suppressing down the bar right from the Greyhound fans on forward, being up for the 50 cal now. Oh, it finds that landmine there, getting damage and crit in the other one. I was going to say, oh, he's going to lose that one to two, but he's going to lose both those two to twos to that landmine. Another landmine being built there, it's not fully built. Another damage and crit there. 50 cal now trying to hit this kind of grenadier that's falling on back. A single landmine will net them two to two. That's very, very good. He does auto control there by the 30 cal. By the coaxial 30 cal. And now he's going to be hitting a mortar half track. The mortar half track needs a full on map. Gotta be careful those mortars as well. They tend to get engine crits on these light vehicles, whether it be the 234 or the M8.
Right from the squad now getting pinned by the G43s. The fuck ground forces now receive some fire. Fresh light TF track rolls a miss there. Enemy unit. And does take up a mortar half track there of a AT gun. So far, this thing is quite not like a from just yet. And he has left the one, not one visible. Let's get some shots there on the Greyhound, but no engine crits. We're seeing now fire. Light ETF track does find a shot there. Two kills. That was getting another kill there. Now right from squads are falling back nice and early. Allied war machine is at 100%. And grad advancing on forward, trying to spot some stuff. Squad reinforced, taking fire. Ready for and Rackman does spot that Ketting grad when the models went a little bit too close. Realizes his entire vehicle there. Taking small arms fire here. Armor Allied War Machine is now available. Those is going for the full IP line. He Ready must he knows about the little fourth ground forces, so he's expecting potentially flat gate eights to appear. Rockman squad's advancing on four. Got the Kennegrad spotting the engineers. Flame engineers advancing on forward. Does get a good hit there on the engineer. Does find a shot there onto the G2. And uh, M1 AT gun does go down for those who's due to do return. The Rockman squad could try recapturing up that AT gun. Though there's a lot of tensor in this region, he may just want to fight from this heavy cover there and protect the AT gun from being focused down by the light TF track. Greyhound now advances to the flank. He's a good hits there, right from fighting from good cover there. And these right Panzer Grenadiers do fall back now. So he does get his cutoff point there, denying this fuel income. It's going to take time to recapture the AT gun with the wounded squad. Very nice. Yes, sir. What are my coordinates? Now we do have a weapon support center being employed on now, as well as level one production. Rifle squad has the object. His opponent zero command points. I know he has a verbal one available. I think flak idiots are now available. We are ready for order, what do you sir. Need? He stops repairing this guy. There are going to be flak idiot being employed on fields. Just pushing forward. He may be designed to push forward. The other line will result in Falschen Jaegers, so the fact he has zero command points right now, I do believe he has flat gate eights he can employ on out. Got another 2-2 on the build queue, and another one on the field. Thank you for the follow, Bravo... Bravic Yo. I probably butchered that really horribly, like I do with all names. Mine's been detected... somewhere. We got a landmine deployed out by the engineers. I don't think that's from the Greyhound. But we got a pair of viewers landmines now deployed out. Munitions depot to the enemy. And Set grad captured this fuel point. We've we got the light gap track into in this sector. More landmines being deployed on out. We got two bar riflemen here. AT gun advancing forward. M8 also as Attention. well. The enemy and more landmines. I like seeing all these landmines. How much munitions do you have left? Not enough for Allied War Machine, but to be fair, a Greyhound's not like a great item to use Allied War Machine with, so him going below the uh, ability threshold is probably perfectly fine. Oh. Okay, I don't know why. That sound effect reminded me of booby trap sound effect, and I got really confused by that. 
Sometimes it's like on the mini map, like green. I hate that. Good dude now skirmishing around, trying to get some hits there on the rifleman, but trying to avoid it being close. I'm not sure if he has access to sticky bombs. He will soon have access to sticky bombs. Rifleman squads, three rifleman squads here. Bet one, bet one, and bet two. Make that bet two, bet two, and bet one. Light half track firing away. Rolls a bounce there on the hay barrel, or hay pile. And Flak A now deployed out on the field. Flak A in this point in time, not going to be that useful, honestly. It will, of course, keep the Greyhound away and perhaps annihilate the AT gun. Oh, landmine detonated. Was spotted there by the camouflage Kettle Grad. Very nice. AT gun does find some shots there. Over the Flak 88, it's going to fire most rounds into the dirt, barring the Greyhound way over there. That makes another landmine there, thanks to the camouflage Kettle Grad spotting it. That's got a lot of suppressor fire there. Three G43 squads versus three rifle squads. And the Goliath is now available. I really hate how this map just lags for me. Of all the maps, why is this one? Enemy unit down. Oh, that's why I called one of those Panzer Grandiers there. Very nice. It's other one's falling back. May receive a bit more fire as well. And does not. Your sniper is way over here, falling back. Trying to be, does get gunned down there by the 2 to 2. Does get, uh, get damage and crit there onto the Ketting Grad. Which will deny the camouflage mine detector. And these riflemen are tying up the 2 to 2 from moving away. Which allow the Greyhound to get a good shot on in, but he still has plenty of health to play around with. Using the sniper is a bit of a loss. The AT gun does get fully destroyed there, likely from the Flak 88. And he's down to two Panzer Grenadiers, two and uh, two two twos, and of course the light TF tracks still on the field. But the Calliope at this point in time is going to be very useful now, won't it? He's almost doesn't have enough manpower for the Calliope. Going for an AT gun instead. I will probably go with the Calliope. It will generally provide more. I suppose you have to still be worried about the 2-2s. You can't solely rely on sticky bombs. Rifleman and Flame Engineers move around the left flank. Maybe I have to overrun the Flak 88. We're losing a point out there. That is a cutoff point, denying the income for the fuel and munitions point. Landmine deployed out there, very nice. Rifleman capturing that point. We're losing ground out there. The camouflage cutting ground gains some good detection. And he has quite a bit of manpower, so soon to be enough for Calliope. M1 AT gun now deployed on a few. He does put some forward, thanks to the spotting. Oh, and didn't find that landmine nav there now, didn't he? Does he count one of those 2 2 twos. This other 2 2. Keep the AT gun facing the same direction. Lines up a shot. No, he gets gunned down. And the 2 2 2 gets gunned down as well. The AT gun is in an easily recoverable position there, so that's way out being destroyed. Can't watch kind of gratis on this region. We'll spot the AT gun being recruited and may just want to back out of the region. The enemy is down to 300. He points. may have spot that landmine being put on a field. Let's see how far it sees. He could potentially saw that for a brief moment. Elite Fallschirmjäger infantry are now available to Kampfgruppe Leer. Fallschirmjäger is now available, and we do also have the Calliope now available. Let's get this. This point is going to be decaptured. Get your orders successfully completed. Fall in. The enemy is attempting to seize a fuel completed. point from us. Mortar ready for orders. Mortar half track? That would be useful in helping gauge the AT guns. 
But the Clive is going to cause some issues. Got a good shot there by the white the abstract. territory from us. Let's fall back with that rifle squad maybe a little bit too quickly. And when you got five shot there. Oh, okay. You must have blown that one up, spotted maybe by the Panzer Grenadier. Or maybe spotted by the Kettengrad. Do we have a rubble one now pulling a few? YP, I'm for Barrage, somewhere in this general region. We'll get some good damage on multiple units. You can get some hits there on the Clive, on the uh, Kettengrad. Panzer Grenadier, soft, does full retreat now. And that was a little miss there onto the mortar half track. Mortar half track's trying to engage this from right from now. It looks like you're going to try to force fire and destruction of that garrison. Rifleman squad now engaging. Just look for ground forces right there. Two windows on the side. Actually, with the hole in this building there, there's now a third window to fight from. And now it's going to the much better window for the look off ground forces to engage. We have the verbal end potentially can receive some fire there. Mortar, incendiary mortar does range short on the AT gun. That's going to take time to repair up the Kettengrad, who's not currently camouflaged. The enemy is seizing our territory. Mortar does get a good hit there on the AT gun. Rifleman squad now getting suppressed there. Verbal one gains some good damage onto him. And now the engineers just get suppressed as well. Going for a line of uh, tank traps there. I'm curious that Kettengrad can squeeze through any of it. Sounds like really hit or miss. And the mortar half or the AT gun does get decrewed by the mortar half trap. Rifleman squad advancing forward, getting suppressed there by the Verbal one. Greyhound is falling on back. There was standoff right now. The US player does have a slight advantage of DPs, but that is shrinking. No additional coming in the doctrine just yet. Supply lines are broken. You should be able to get at least some rapid production. The other level one ability. Probably when not eyeing for a barrage on these forces. Let's get a shot there by the Greyhound, the rear armor of the Verbal Wind. Rifleman squad trying to advance forward. We'll find a volley there onto the 2 to 2, getting no damage onto it. And Camouflage Kettengrad right here still getting some great spotting. Going for a very close range barrage to collide. People largely missing the Verbal Wind. Does get some good damage onto it. AT gun has been recruited. Maybe an angle. Uh, no, maybe it's just out of angle, isn't it? AT gun needs to be rotated around. He should have vision of that revolver one. Oh crap, not cinematic. And there goes the camera angle. Yeah, hey. If you cut the cinematic, now it's permanently zoomed in. My apologies. I was going to say, I was going to see if you can spot the verbal one there to push for the AT gun. Had to hit the wrong button. Ooh, Flack ED gets a good hit there. There's a fresh Flack ED more in the center of the map now. Panzer Grenadier is a fancy forward. It gains some good damage there onto the AT gun. Let's get one model dropped there. What are my coordinates? Our forces are taking it does wipe casualties. out that AT gun. Rifleman squads advance forward trying to engage the Panzer Grenadiers. Rubble wind, mortar half tracks in this region. Flat gate 8 rolls a miss there. Rubble wind's now trying to engage these riflemen. And riflemen squad's now trying to overrun the Flat 88. They can pass get some sticky bombs onto the mortar half track as well if it goes poorly for the Pants Lead player. Good to do a Pants Lead getting some damage onto the rifleman squad. Flat gate does get a decent hit there on the rifleman. Rolls like rolls another miss there. Well needs verbal one. Verbal one does press one the rifle squad. Got fly barrage running on in, not hitting the verbal one the Black and he has been decrewed. He could actually recruit himself. And so it can start hitting these other armored assets. AT gun, I think. It's pushing away four as well. Rifle squad seeing private damage. Needs a fall back with both these squads. It's 
Purple one's almost going down. Got some butterfly bombs here. It does take up the purple one with the M1AT gun. Black at eight made trying to retaliate now. The one that got the kill was the incredibly wounded gun. Enemy unit down. And does take out the Flak 8 with the M1 AT gun as well. The Panzer player is losing a lot of assets right now. Engineers Minesweepers will spot these butterfly bombs. Since he knows if it's fighting against uh both off ground forces, he knows it's gonna be fighting against a lot of butterfly bombs, so he needs to make sure he has that up and going. Fresh barbed one. Oh no, that's a flak Irving. Relatively rare asset. They got a forward HQ here. A rope one could be placed next to it to get some health regen. Camouflage, cam camouflage, cutting grand this region. Let's see how much he can see. He can see the Calliope's right there. No longer. Greyhound advance up forward. Does see some auto cannon fire there. AT guns moving around, and I got the Verbal and Bar or Calliope Barrages on this region. That could do some great damage, both of them barraging. Does destroy the garrison, gets some great damage, does take out the off ground forces. More losses there by the Panzer League player. He's lost a large number of squads throughout this entire game. He has ultimately a minimal force. Weakening even now. Efficiency achieved. Senior mortar does connect. They do have a good hit there onto the armor car. We have lost a unit to the enemy. Let's see the two there. Black Irving now seeing some fire there. Black A does destroy the M1 the AT gun there. Rifle squadron with the crew of the Black Irving now. Looks like one of the butterfly bombs was detonated by a stray shot from the Flak Irving. That's just suppress the fire there on one of the Rifle squads with the G43, so let's see he's suppressing both of them now. Both those Rifle squads do fall back. Some of these butterfly bombs, one of them will detonate there, getting one more model, and the Flak Irving does fire a volley and retreat. And this Kettigrat does get killed camouflage. Mortar half track severely wounded. There's a US landmine there. They take it, so now in favor of the Panzer League player, but overall, I still feel like the US player is in a better position. It's been maintained, squads has a good amount of veterans across them, while the Panzer League player. Okay, that must have been spotted and destroyed by the Kettengrad. I'm not sure what. It, oh, maybe it was a mortar. It must have been a mortar. The Panzer League player has maintained minimal squads and does not have really great veterancy across them either. We are ready for now this round of butterfly bombs not being pulled on the field. Rifle squads both pushing it forward to bet, to the bet 2 and bet 1. Probably one barrage for running on in, trying to decrease his forces. The Black Irving will get the crew there and the mortar half track does get barraged down Barbara one now engaging he has to recruit the flak irving and finds a butterfly bomb there this uh reference squad could get a sticky bomb off he's in sticky bomb range does get a sticky bomb off very nice flak irving recruit likely will get destroyed by the flak kitty it does take it out there with the nice shot there for the at gun and the fifth the sticky bomb Barbara one Receiving or Flak Irving receiving fire from the Flak 88. We got these G42 squads advancing forward, and he's going through a rubber frag grenade. Not sure when he got that, but he does have it. Gets one model kill there. And the uh, Flak Irving does go down to the Flak 88. As the player is now down, base the four squads on the field. Not very much. Back over. I 
think that was the Pan's lead player back in the game. He was in the back foot for most of the game. I honestly can't say. Well, either way, this end grade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.